everyone. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a snowflake with the new Snowflakes template pack in Dazzling Reflections. Then we're going to export this image so that we can use it in another graphics program. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see I've got all the templates open. There are 16 new templates with the Snowflakes collection and we'll be using SF06 today. So I'm going to click on it once to select it. I've also imported my photograph, so I'll just go ahead and double click, then click in the master segment, and now I can start designing my snowflake. So I'm just going to manipulate this photograph in the master segment until I get a design that I like. So I'm pretty happy with this design right here. Actually, I think I'll make it just a little bit more defined on the edges. Now the next step is to export this. So I'm going to go up to File, select Export. I'm just going to leave the resolution at 3x3 three three and 300 dpi. Click OK. Then it's going to ask me where would you like to save this. I'm going to leave it in this folder which I've already designated it to. And the file name, I'll just call it by the template name which is SF06. Then when it says file type, it will default to JPEG, but you want to pull down this menu bar and select PNG or Portable Network Graphic. Then I'm going to hit save. And now I've saved that snowflake in the folder. So now we're done with this portion of the video. So the next step is opening up the graphics program. For this next part of the project, I'll be using Adobe Photoshop Elements version 10. So I already have the program open. I have one of the pictures open. Now I need to bring in the snowflake that we designed in Dazzling Reflections. So I'll go up to File, select Open. I have it in my Snowflake Layout folder. Click on the image, click Open, and that adds it to the project bin. Now I'm going to go back to that photograph. So I'll just double click on it. That makes it active on my screen. And I notice that I have a lock on here. So if I double click on that lock, then I'll click OK. Now I can make changes to this image. The first thing I'm going to do is crop it into a square. So I'll go over to the Crop tool. Then I'm going to draw a square around the face. Just center that in there. Click on the green check mark. And now my picture has been cropped into a square. The next thing I need to do is go back over to the toolbar and I'm going to select a marquee tool. Currently it's got a rectangle, but if I click and hold, I can select elliptical marquee tool. Then to draw a perfect circle, I'm going to hold down the shift key as I draw that circle. Now I want to leave a little bit of space at the top, the bottom, and on both the sides because I'm going to add a feather around the edge of this circle. So in the center of the circle, I'm going to right click with my mouse, then I'm going to left click on feather, and I have the feather radius set at 30 pixels. Now you can experiment with this, but I'm going to go with the 30 pixels today. So I'm going to click on OK, then I'm going to go over to the layers palette, then I'm going to select on add layer mask. So now you can see it has removed all the picture that was outside of that circle and added a nice feathered effect to the edge. So let's go back down to the project bin and now I'm going to double click on the snowflake. So let's go back down to the project bin again and click and hold on that photo that we just edited and then drag and drop it on top of the snowflake. Then I'm going to go back up to the toolbar, click on the move tool. Now I can see the handles on the bounding box I'm going to click and hold on the corner, decrease the size of the picture, and just manipulate that inside the snowflake. I think I'll use my arrow keys here. Click on the green check mark, and now that photo has been superimposed on top of the snowflake. This is also called a composite. Now at this point, if you feel that this is something that you will edit again, you could save it as a Photoshop file. That way it's fully editable. In my case, I'm just going to use this as a digital element to add to an existing page that I've got going. So what I'm going to do is merge these layers together 
so that it is one element. So to do that, I'm going to make sure that I've got the top layer selected. Then I'm going to go up to the Layers menu and choose Merge Down. So now it's merged both these layers together and this element is one piece and can be moved around as one piece. So what I'm going to do at this point is add this to a scrapbook layout that I've already started. So let me bring that onto the screen so you can see it here and you can see all the layers that correspond to this layout. I'm going to click on the very last layer that I did, which is the top one. Then I'm going to go back down to the project bin, click and hold, and drag and drop that snowflake onto the layout. Then I'm going to position it onto the page. Then I can see that, okay, maybe I want to rotate this around a little bit. So I'm just going to rotate it on the page here, click on the green check mark, and now that element has been added to my layout. But as you can see, I already have a couple of other snowflakes on here. And what I would like to do is add the same effects to the new snowflake that I have on the existing ones. So I'll click on one of the existing ones so that I can find it on my layers palette. And there's a little icon that has an F and an X on here. Now what I'm going to do is hold down the Alt key on my keyboard, hover over that FX, click and hold, and then drag and drop that up to that very first layer, which would be the snowflake that we just pulled on here. So now what you can see has happened is all the effects that were applied to this snowflake have now been applied to this one. That way I don't have to go through all these different menus and do a drop shadow or a bevel or an edging. It's just a nice quick way to duplicate effects and it keeps the consistency on the page so that everything looks, you know, looks the same. So that's how you superimpose or make a composite in Photoshop and now you can add that to a scrapbook layout as we've done here. It would also be great for cards or to put onto printable fabric for quilting projects. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out our website www.poppyhilldesigns.com. You'll get all the information about the snowflake templates and also some other great products that we have.